Hello everybody, I'm back. I literally was sitting here for like the past 40 minutes contemplating on doing this video. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Y'all know I keep it about 25, I would never lie. It's raining right now, like really hard. So I woke, oh, child, scare, I'm <laughs> scared. Wait a minute, hold on. Anyways, let's get started. How do I tell my best friend that I lied? Girl, what you lying about? I'm too old for that. I lied to my best friend about a boy liking her at first because I was joking with her, someone liking her because we were messing around. Mm. But she said, wait, really? I got really excited and I just had to tell her. So I spewed her the moment and I told her what was going on and she kept pressing me about it. So I made up a random name and told her and then she said she kind of liked that guy too. I guess she made up the name of the guy, a guy that they, they hang around or something. <laughs> I feel really bad about lying about it. And I'm scared that if I tell her I was lying that she won't ever trust me again. I mean, I wouldn't either. Duh. How can I tell her that I was lying to her and it was just a joke without her being mad at me? I feel guilty and I'm scared to lose our friendship. And I'm gonna tell her tomorrow. I said another dude name. Clearly she wasn't telling you the way you were feeling her. So why are you lying? You're trying to get a reaction. It's kind of like giving gaslight if you ask me. I'm not gonna lie to you. Are you a gaslighter? Do you need help? Seek help. 9800 seek help. That's where you should go. I'm reading this again. Hold on. Fucking clown. We are a stupid bitch. We are a fucking Why are you playing like that? You jealous? You jealous because she... <laughs> jealous because she said that she's bisexual and she still likes dudes? Are you... Ganesha. You're trying to turn her again? Gun. She doesn't want to be... Bitch, you is a third. That wasn't really cool of you. You're fake. You're fake. You be cut off. You're a fake. You be cut off. She, need, she needs to cut you off. You're not a friend, you were a fuck buddy, it seems like. It seems like you were a fuck buddy, that's what it's giving. She would've went up to that dude, flipped that dude out, creeped that dude out, you know, I don't like you, I never said I liked you, and you would just embarrass her. You're a fake seek help. Thank you. <clears throat> Me and my best friend had a nasty fight. <laughs> Got emotional quite a few times and heated some other times and b out to our new friends. Now I feel like <laughs> Oh my gosh, you're one of those. You need to leave. Ew. I will make this right by telling them that I only spoke about bad parts. She has so many good sides to her and that can be a dumb at times. Anything else I should do to make things right? Also, how do I stop doing this? I am very affected by our friendship and the breakup friendship. Sometimes I get very angry and sh her in front of my other friends. And my friends keep telling me to just go sort things out with her, but I feel so guilty after doing the same thing over and over over because she's an amazing person and she doesn't deserve it at all. <laughs> You and your friend get into a fight and you go talk about her, your best friend at that, you go talk about her the that you're acquainted by. Those are not even the same level as your best friend. You're going to go bash your best friend to those bitches. I don't know how, why are you even asking someone, how do I stop bashing my best friend? 9800, seek help. Y'all are real friends, you can literally get to the point to just say, oh, I'm gonna go have a conversation with my best friend because I fuck you to that type of level. And just like my last video, I told y'all, if you fuck somebody to a heavy out to dude, you can go have a conversation with them. You can go have a conversation with them. Be real, you don't have to be fake, pretend like you mad, pretend like you this, pretend like you're, you're doing too much. You're doing too much. If you value the friendship, how as much as you're telling everyone, oh, there's good parts of this, the, the, b -b <laughs> then why are you talking about your best friend? That just says a lot about you as a person. And if I was her, you were to come tell me, oh, I was bashing you to everyone else. And every, all of your, was clear. See, I can't get down like that because even your friends, you're hanging around real friends that's telling you to go sort things out with that person that you're calling best friend, you don't even wanna do it. It's fake. You're fake. <laughs> so I got mad at my friend for saying one thing and then doing a total opposite. Her response was to start messaging my husband. My husband explained to her that I was feeling because she was effectively been gaslighting me and she got frustrated with him and insulted him. That's why he should be, he shouldn't be dealing with me either. Not funny, ha ha. Funny, weird. In the past, she has gotten drunk and said that my husband and I would take her virginity. She's in her late 20s. She signs her messages off to him with love lots. <laughs> Not love lots. Not big lots. <laughs> big lots. Big savings. Just clarifying. It's weird, right? Yeah, clearly. <laughs> clearly. Um, like messaging my husband to ask him to support her because I called her out of out on her behavior. She tried to call me weird to my husband as if my husband wouldn't tell me. My husband and I are a team and have a ridiculously supportive and healthy marriage. She's always idolized him and I've never thought of anything of it. But I feel like she's trying to insert herself in my marriage by putting me down to my husband. She was my bridesmaid and we've been friends for several years. I just don't understand. That's it. You gotta watch out for that. You got married, she's in her late 20s. She's probably feeling like, oh my gosh, you, you're married and you have your whole life ahead of you and you have everything going on and you're just doing so good because you're married and your husband is so happy. Cut her off, cut her off. 
I'm not gonna say find a new husband like I want to because I kind of understand because I'm pretty sure he, she can have his number, but why are you texting my husband talking about me? Why is my husband texting me back? That's weird. That's weird. That will make me do a double take because why are you texting her back? I mean, I, I understand, great, take it for granted he is telling you, but like, and telling you and showing, well, is he showing you? No shade. But like, that's my, like, you're my friend and you're texting my husband. Like, that's already a little throwing me off. Like, why, why, is, why is your friend overstepping their boundary of texting your husband? Who are you? You text me, don't text my man. I thought y'all would've took my virginity and stuff like that. It's psychotic. What? Why, why would you think? I mean, unless you were into threesomes. I mean, I can see her point. I mean, when well, you didn't add that part, did y'all ever discuss a threesome? I mean, I'm pretty sure she, she, she just didn't get that out of nowhere. I mean, if y'all was gonna plan on doing a, t a double take team down on her ass, I'm pretty sure she was waiting for it. Y'all, y'all canceled on her and she has an issue with that. But yeah, cut her off, she's weird. Mm -mm. Tell your husband to stop texting her too. Go to relationship counseling too, because why are your husband texting another woman that's bashing you? Anyways. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> and if she's a gaslighter, wait a second, if she's a gaslighter and you were telling all this to her husband, why would your husband continue to text her? Oh! Hey, stupid bitch. Cut him off too. Just throw him away too. <laughs> I'm like, don't cut him off. But like, mm -mm, talk to him about that. That was really weird. Why are you messaging her despite me just telling, I already told you that she's gaslight, why are you still texting her? It's kind of, <laughs> think I'm outgrowing my best friend of 28 months. He's a cool dude. I wish nothing but the best for him. But lately, I'm just not having any fun with him when we're hanging out anymore. He still lives with his stepmom, his stepdad. How does he live with a stepmom and stepdad? Hmm, funny, yes. What's that to you? <laughs> lives with his sister and her kid and while that's all okay he makes no effort to move out his girlfriend and his stepson all moved in with him rather than finding their own place for themselves he got a new car he invites me to go hang out with him every now and again and well it seems like it will be fun but he always find a way to host our get-togethers in his mom's backyard i can't even drink because his mom always chimes in on how i'm going to drink and i'll have to stay the night to prevent wait a minute did y'all hear that thunder Oh yeah, we about to end it. We about to wrap this up. He doesn't look like he's gonna go anywhere. What do I do to be a better friend? Honestly, some people you do outgrow, no shade. Not in a shady way, but like, you don't, if you feel as though you're getting, you're you're becoming a be on a different level, you're, you have credit, you have your own place, your own everything going on, and he's still in the same spot. You can't save everybody. <laughs> you can't save everybody. It seems like you're trying and he... One hour later. Hold on. And you said that he travels with his girlfriends to other states and concerts. And when you say you don't got time for that because you have time, you have to go to work and you can't call to work. It's just like he's still in the same mentality of y'all were in high school. Y'all were in high school. You can't keep somebody like that around because they're not going to take their life seriously. I mean, they're not caring about you taking your life seriously. Everything that you do to better yourself is going to look at as you're boring. You're boring, you're boring, you're boring, you're boring, you're boring. No, I'm taking my life seriously. I'm getting down on my shit. I do stuff occasionally, not frequently. I go out occasionally. I don't gotta go out all the time. I have work. I don't gotta do this. I don't gotta go out all the time. I'm not about to come to your house to drink beers with you in your mother's backyard all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to. Some people you just outgrow. I say purposely do it, but like slowly, like just separate yourself. Like, you have stuff going on. You having to keep worrying about him is worrying and making you worry about him. I'm chiming in because I had to recut that clip out. You keep having to worry about a friend over and over is only gonna bring you down. You only do but so much for a person. You can't build a person fully. Like, I can't. You can lead a horse to the water child, but you cannot make that horse drink. I can lead you all the way there. You have to put that foot forward for yourself. Like, I can't do all the work for you. I'm going to hurt myself because now I keep worrying about you. You have to put that same effort in that I want you to put in for yourself. If that makes sense. Okay, bye. I had a lot of friends. Like, I had a lot of friends that had to outgrill because it just, I got to different points in my life where it's like, I'm just not the same Jalil I was months ago I'm, I'm not the same jello no shade it's not i don't like you it's not i hate you or anything i'm just not the same person and i don't want you to be the same person but i know for me to elevate i can't be the same person here you know what i mean so you gotta meet your friend in the middle and if, especially if you try to help him like you you have your kid and your stepkid living at your mother's house. Come on, dude. Like, be real. B F F R. B for real. <laughs> Hello, Jalo. My husband has a group of friends from work, and one of them is a lesbian woman. She is with a woman right now, and this weekend we all had a get together. A lesbian woman gets up, 
Not you're calling her a lesbian woman. Don't don't play her like that, girl. Don't act like she ain't got no name. See, <laughs> y'all be messy. He walks over to my husband and sits in his lap. After for a few minutes telling stories like everything it was normal, I spoke to my husband right after and told him about how uncomfortable it made me be. And he was like, it wasn't a big deal because she's lesbian, so that means she has no ulterior motive. I said, it doesn't matter what she is. I don't want a woman sitting on your lap, Ben. The fuck is wrong with you? In my opinion, a woman has no reason to sit on a man's lap unless she's interested in trying to make a move. I mean, I literally am putting up my butt on a man's It doesn't get more obvious than that. How can I explain to my husband that this is wrong either she loves me and thank you? Let me tell you something, Ben. The reason why this is wrong is because you have another woman sitting on top of your lap and your wife is sitting on the recliner while you are drinking. But like, cut get up do better are you serious how that's, these dudes be so like you when you get with somebody you really got to have a long conversation with them with, with with what you will and won't allow because if you don't they will take advantage of everything because sometimes even the stuff that might be common sense to us being a the more feminine people or the more masculine people we don't even know what the going on you have to tell a person what you do and don't like and you kind of if you ask me because why would you wait until that guy in the room hold up turn up right there you hear me hold up get the out of me Excuse me. Stop! You should do better. Whoop Ben ass tonight though. Whoop Ben tonight. I'm playing. But help him understand like why is it wrong? Cause some men are actually genuinely, they don't know. I can say that a lot of men genuinely don't know certain principles and boundaries. And you have to teach them sometimes. Teach them like, babe, this is not okay because of this. This is not okay because of that. Because not all of them, not everybody was raised. Not everybody was cut from the same cloth, baby. You gonna have to teach them something. So I say teach him, show him what is right, what's wrong, and him do the opposite because you both are growing together, not oppositely. Not together. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, we're out this piece. Loves and kisses. Like, subscribe, share, comment. Don't forget to view the video content if you enjoyed. Go to the description to find anything. Put your inquiries in my email. Stop, let's not send it to my DM anymore. Let's send it to the business email just because it's hard going through the DMs, looking for advice mixed with... Wait a minute. Hold on. Just send it to the email. Thank you. All right. Bye. I'll give you anything you want from me. Anything you want, anything you want.